Now, Jeremy Corbyn, you've invited Hezbollah, Hamas, the IRA to Parliament in the past. You've called them your friends. Is there any terrorist group beyond the pill for a cosy chat on the House of Commons terrorists with you? I invited a number of groups to discuss the Middle East into a meeting in Parliament and welcomed everyone to that meeting as friends because they were coming in prepared to have a serious discussion. You do not bring about peace anywhere in the world without talking to people who you may not agree with. Look at how we dealt with Northern Ireland, look is uh, how what is now being dealt with in Colombia where the FARC are in negotiations with the government of Colombia in, um, in Cuba and look at the whole process in the Middle East. If you just put people into silos and say, I'm not going to talk to you because I don't agree with you, you will never bring about peace. In what way are you proud to have Hezbollah as your friends, the supporters of the Assad regime? I have met them. I don't agree with many of their strategies or policies. I obviously don't agree with the violence that goes with it, but there has to be the bringing out of, together of a peace process. You also have to look at the way in which Israel has, um, how should I put it, bombed the Gaza Strip into destitute... It's an appalling, I'm, I'm talking about appalling Hezbollah. Mess. Wait a minute. It's an, it's an appalling mess. That, and so there has to be a peace process that brings about reconstruction but, and brings about reconciliation. But you, didn't you have just... to talk to people. On Northern Ireland, you didn't just deal with Sinn Féin. You dealt with the IRA. Three I'm... weeks after the Brighton bomb, in which the IRA had tried to destroy the democratically elected government of this country, you invited two convicted IRA terrorists to the House of Commons. They were former prisoners who had come out of prisons, women who had come out of prison, came to Parliament, actually in a meeting that had been arranged long before, to talk about prison conditions and rehabilitation of prisoners. They is were there, IRA. Is there, is there anything wrong with that since they had a spent conviction? They had surely, just, their organisation had just tried to blow up the British Andrew, government. The whole history... Did you not think about that? Of course I thought about it and I was... You still invited them and in? And I wanted a peace process. That's why I maintained a level of contact with Sinn Féin throughout that period, as indeed secretly the British government... You didn't want a peace process. That... You wanted a, a, a no, united Andrew, Ireland. You Andrew, saw Northern Ireland as an imperialist colonial Andrew, situation. I do believe ultimately Ireland should be reunited, <laughs> but I also did never, never believed, and I don't think anybody else did, there was ever going to be a military victory for either side in Northern Ireland. Right. There had to be a peace process and there was a peace process and, and I am not ashamed of those of us that had the courage to step outside and say there has to be discussions that involve with, with people, people that have just tried to blow up the government with discussions with people in order to bring about a ceasefire which did indeed happen and the second ceasefire finally brought about the Belfast agreement surely that is a good thing and uh, that's the, actually a, right. a great achievement for Mo Molam and that Labour government once this contest is over it is likely that David